ברכתה ושירתה, תשפכתה ונחמתה, דאמרם בעלמא ואמרו אמן. יהי שלם הרבה מן שמיא וחיים עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו אמן. And good morning, everyone. And uh, so, um, Rabbi Hanani ben Tarajan, in the third Mishnah, in the third chapter of Pirkei Avot, has taught us that if two people sit together, two Jews, and they talk words of Torah, or they engage in words of Torah, or they express Torah values, the Shekhinah, the Divine Presence, is there. There is a revelation of God in us, even if they don't actually sense it, but it is there, right there in the room. It's as if the Almighty has been revealed in some way out of his state of concealment. But what happens if you're sitting on your own and you don't have a companion to be studying with? So continues Rabbi Hananiah ben Tarajon, Ainli uh, That is all very good when you have two people. But Menayin Afila Echad, what about even if there's one person, Sheoshev, who's sitting, Vosek Torah, and is engaging in Torah study? In this case, Shakarosh Boruchu Koveelo Sachar, the Almighty gives him a reward. Now, mind, this is not the same, the same statement that the Shekhinah comes down and is revealed there, but that he receives a reward. And the proof text for this is Shene Emar, and this is a, ver a verse, strangely enough, taken from Lamentations, talking about the aloneness of Jerusalem um, after the destruction. Yeshev Badad v'yidom, she sits, he, sit, he sits, Yashev, he sits, Badad, alone, v'yidom, and silent, Kinatal alav, and we translate this over here as because he has taken the, yet the reward is upon him. The reward is upon him. Now this last phrase over here, kinatal alav, literally means that he has placed kinatal, he has taken or placed alav upon him, meaning to say that the Almighty has placed the reward upon him. But there's another way to read this as well. Kinatal alav maybe may, does not necessarily refer to the Almighty placing the report of putting something on him. It might be the fact, Kinatal Allah, that he has taken something and placed it on himself. And that is the reason why he's being rewarded. What has he taken and placed upon himself? He's taken on all Torah, the, the yoke of Torah. He's committed himself to the study of Torah and that's what brings the reward. Because taking upon oneself the study of Torah is no light task. The Talmud teaches, and it's mentioned in the Midrash as well, that there are three, the three most precious blessings which the Almighty gave to Israel can only be acquired through suffering and through sacrifice. And those three are acquiring the Torah, the land of Israel, and the world to come. So Torah doesn't come easily. It's not a, um, an abridged, an ab you can't have the abridged easy reading and believe it, you got it. You can't skim through it with a correspondence course and believe that in some way now that you've captured Torah, it comes with incredible dedication, total self-sacrifice, relinqu relinquishing one's preconceived ideas, giving yourself over entirely to the personality of the Torah. It's not a book of history of law. It, it's, uh, it has to get inside of you, inside the mind of the pers person. And therefore, Kinatala love, he's taken it upon himself with this incredible, incredible dedication that's when he gets the reward. And the land of Israel has never been given to the Jewish people as a gratuitous gift from time immemorial. And as we see, even to this very day, it's not on the silver platter. It is, it's a land which we have to fight for. We have to work for it. And as we know, and as we ourselves and our own family have recently experienced, one has to be prepared to die for it as well. Only then are we able to keep the land of Israel. And finally, the world to come is the third of these things, which doesn't come without difficulty and suffering. Every Jew has the world to come in as a potential reward, but it doesn't come to us unless we make every effort to be observant Jews and to bring Torah values into the world and to change the world. And then ultimately, we're in a position where we can earn the world to come. But it comes with sweat and toil and difficulty. And we can't simply sit back and relax and say it will happen by itself. We have to make it happen. All three of these we have to make happen. Torah, Israel, and the world to come. Rabbi Hanani ben Akash, Meir Ratzakor, Zbachlo, Zakh, Israel, Afichach, 
‫הר בעל אמתון מצווה, ‫שנאמר אדוני חפץ זמן צדקו, ‫ידיר יותר וידיר ושבת שלום. So are you keeping small? How's everybody? Fine, thank you. Kasriel and, uh, and his wife Shani are, are here staying oh. with us. So it's been a busy, a busy week. Oh, um, that's lovely. Entertaining them. They're taking, uh, they are, um, um, you know, this is a young couple who got married two weeks later. His brother was uh, was murdered. Yeah. So it was a pretty difficult start to their, to their, to their marriage. Um, but they're a terrific couple. They're very compatible. And they came to London just to have a bit of a respite and uh, to, and you know, we went um, yesterday morning when I left early because I had to be at a funeral or I had a, some other appointments. So we went, but we wanted to fit in a walk on the heath. So we went out, it was lovely. It was actually, it was very almost like spring-like. And there we were walking on the heath and beautiful, big and open and calm kind of tranquility. You just don't get anywhere in Israel, certainly not in Jerusalem. And Kasriel said to me, you know, Zadie, he said, I can feel my neshama coming back. Oh, that's that's yeah. good. That's not good. It good, just gives you some, some sense of, of what these what these kids have been through. Yeah. Oh, it's just nobody can understand yeah. it. Yeah. How yeah. is Hanan? Hanan is doing really well. He's you know he's in charge. He's he's having a very good army experience because he's uh, you know he's a serious kid, and he's um you know he's he's. Um, taking leadership courses, so he leads. You know, he's in charge of of, of soldiers, and he takes care of them really well. Um, I think of all the three boys, he's the one. Kasriel went into the army. He was older than all the other boys. Um, it was difficult. He was with much younger kids. Um, he was in a different stage of his life. Um, Ellie went into the into the army, and uh, you know, they both did very well. Ellie also became an officer, not an officer, but a you know, leader, a non commissioned officer. Uh, but he fought with the army because he saw things which were wrong, and he wasn't a, wasn't a kid who could stomach things which which were wrong, etc. But Hanan goes in, and it's like you know he'll have lots of criticisms, but it's a hand in a glove. It just just works for him. It's a different kind of personality, uh, and passionate about the land. You know these kids grow up with incredible incredible sense of connectedness with with Israel, and you know feel them. Um, uh, um, well, my goodness me, isn't that a special visitor today? Oh, oh love. I don't know about today. I've had it. My daughter's gone back to work this week, so I've had him on Wednesday, Thursday. And she says to me, this is a one-off that he's coming so early, but he will be coming on a Friday morning, but not for breakfast. But anyway, he's here today. So It doesn't, it doesn't look like he's suffering mightily. <laughs> <laughs> You've still got a big smile on your face, but he hasn't. Yeah, well, no, because he's, he's, he wasn't very happy a few minutes ago, but um, oh my. Oh I don't my. know. He probably has got no idea. I told him we're joining this morning and he's not sure. He's not sure well, he'll about hear, He'll it. hear words of Torah, he'll hear some davening and it'll refresh his soul. It's, it's really funny. Yeah. If you think about it, this is his first experience of, of services online <laughs> and not even in the Hi, school. Doris. 
because of COVID, he hasn't been at all this year, have you? Oh, shame. No shul, no school. He thinks this is life. This is life. This is where you meet people. Yeah, and I wear a mask, you see, so it's okay. (laughs) (laughs) Sweet. (laughs) Well, there you are. (laughs) Okay, All right, let's start. It was his grandmother. (laughs) Yeah, that's right. You know, um, Karen. Yes. These little guys, they are the ultimate accessory. You know, they're much better than the Gucci bag. <laughs> Definitely. For sure. <laughs> the problem is I've now gone back six years because I, at one point I actually used to have four of them here at one time. So this <laughs> is um, this is easy. This is easy. <laughs> Isn't that right? pro, you should give lessons to others. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Peter, um, allocate, please. Uh, I allocate me to... To Brook Shumar. Oh, yeah, you're always a cop out. You take the easy one, okay. <laughs> well, I don't have to. If someone <laughs> wants to fight me for it, they, they have it. That's all right. Hello, Lawrence Gold iPad. Brook Shumar, Bukhaya, Halam Brook, Brook, as ever, Ashis, Brook, and Mavo, Sir, Brook, as a Umkayum, Brook Marachain, Al Haharet, Brook Marachain, Al Habrios, Brook Mashalain. So had to hear of Brook Hai La Advocayum, the Netza, Brook Podet and Matsil, Brook Shamo, Brook Ato Adamoi, Elahena Melech Holom, Hoel of Parachamoi, Hamkulol, the fair Amo, Mushuba, Um for Air, Bill Shon, Hasidov, Vavodov, Ushire David of Deho, Mehalelho Adamoi, Elahenu. Bish Vachos Uvis Uv Vizmiros Megalelho Un Shabekaho Un Forechaho Venazke Shimho Vagam Lichho Malkeno Elahain Yochid Heicholamim Melch Mishuba Um for Air Shubach Mishubach Um for Air Ade Ad Shimo Abadol Baruchat Tordemoy Melech Mahulal British Bahos. And now I would if ask who would like to do Ashray. I'll have a go. Thank you, Doris. Nat is really having a go. Ashray Yushve Betecha, Odi Halel Harsela. Ashray Ha'am Shekaharlo, Ashray Ha'am. Shedonai Elohav. Tehila le David. Arumim ha Elohai ha Melech. Ve abarcha shimcha le Olam vaet. Ve chol yom abarcha ve halela shimcha le Olam vaet. Gadol Adonai umhulal meod. Ve ligudolatecha en heka. Dor le dor. Ishabach measecha. Uporatecha 